Hi everyone, I'm here to do a VR for Mummy and Me Crafts Summer Giveaway. Um, she has asked us to make a decorated spool um, with three yards of either lace, ribbon, trim or a combination. Uh, to make it decorated, um, embellished using things like bees, charms and daggles. The closing date to this is the 31st of July, um, but because I am sending from the UK, I have uh, made it early and we sending it this week. So I just wanted to come on and sort of do a little quick project share of what I have made and what I will be sending and then I'm just going to do a quick tutorial to show you how I made the spool. So this is the finished result and what I will be sending. So I've made a large spool which is um, 8 inches and I've decorated it using Maggie Holmes's balloon collection um, and little bits of things from my stash. So I am sending um, three yards but one yard of each. I've got this lovely uh, peach lace here which is um, quite a large one. I'm sending this really soft silky white lace and then I'm sending this gorgeous embroidered um, flower trim um, with it as well. So how I decorated this is using like vintage buttons. I made this paper clip and applied um, a beads and this um, Eiffel Tower charm. I made this flower using some um, acetate that I made using cellophane and laminated sheets. I just tackled that uh, with some sort of coppery rose gold card there as well. Um, here I've used a paper clip and attached this gorgeous blue flower charm to it. And this paper clip is holding the um, trim, this floral trim, onto the spool. Over here, I've just decorated on, directly onto the spool, just a little bit of a cluster. And then here, I've made a little um, sort of clip, really. I mean, this is a peg, but it wasn't wide enough, so I made it wider by put in some um, of the Enfermira um, from the collection at the back um, attached to the spool. I did decorate it with twine but as you can see it's quite hidden now. I've added this feather, some of these, the flower, buttons here, some of the pieces that come with the collection and that just slides on here so it's um, works on two levels, it's, it holds the lace on and it also creates a decorative element to the school. So I hope you enjoyed that and that is my entry to giveaway. Um, just going to quickly do a, a tutorial on how I made that school. I did watch a tutorial video um, and I'm going to link that tutorial video as well as the video uh, for Mummy and Me's uh, giveaway. So I just increased the sizes and these are what I used to make the 8 inch spool. So I'm using a piece of cardstock which is 8 inches here and 5.5 and inches this way. I'm then going to use my envelope punch board and I'm going to slot it in at the 2 inch mark, punch, flip it over, punch and then flip it round, go at two, punch, flip it over, and then two. So I end up with something that looks a bit more like a Christmas cracker. So after I've used that, I am not very good at just cutting a straight line. I can't do it, it'll go very wonky. So I still use my um, cutter, and I just line it up and I just see um, the edge 
of the where the cut goes to where I've made those notches and just move my blade over to that notch and then I just cut and you will feel where it has ended and that just comes off and do the other side so just line it up where it cuts making sure the blade goes down into the notch you'll feel it get to the other notch and that just makes a smooth cut like so and that's how I made my spool now to give it some stability I cut mine on a um, chipboard that was backed with um, the paper from the collection so on the back here I've used like the bows and on the back it's sort of like that denim paper there so um, doing that it's, it's still punched through so you can punch through using the chipboard as long as it's the thin chipboard but that's how I made the spool now you can also round off the edges but I thought it looked more spool like in this with the corners pointed so that is my tutorial my project share and my VR thank you for watching bye